Alrighty, so welcome to Backstreet Confessions with Father Howard. This is gonna be scary. Lots to confess after 25 years. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. God help us all. The first impression that I had of meeting the other guys, it was April 20th of 1993. Nick was a ball of energy. Little bitty, small, blonde hair little kid. Hey man, my name's Nick. AJ back then is not the AJ that he is right now. He wanted to be so bad, but he was so preppy. He would come up in a button up, denim shirt with a tie, and he had a briefcase. I saw Howie first. Nice, down to earth. A little shady at times. Kevin came along a little bit later in the group. We grew up together. GQ kind of model looking dude. I first met uh, Brian. Which I will never forget, the thickest country accent I had ever heard. And we all met at the house. Saying acapella for the first time as a group. My first impression was, wow, they're young but they're really talented. I liked everybody better then, to be honest. Any of us have any alter egos? Nick's alter ego, it's OG Dick. I was a pop star on stage, but then, you know, the stuff that I would listen to on the side would be rap music. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my old cane out and I was an OG. They couldn't mess with me because I was a gangster. I was definitely the party boy. You wanna say that? AJ has this alter ego. On days off, he would do shows as this wannabe pimp called Johnny No Name. <laughs> the biggest prankster by far would be Nick Carter. I think Howie's the best person to, to play a prank on because he is very sensitive. He's gotten me so many times itching powder and while I'm sleeping and I actually sleep a little bit with my mouth open. He put like soap bars in my mouth. Because Nick used to always, always mess with Howie, Howie's definitely gotten Nick back in some pretty tremendous ways. Because Howie's an eye for an eye kind of guy. I got some Tiger Bomb. <laughs> I put it in his underwear, and it didn't come into effect until he was like about three songs because the heat started working hard. Payback's a bitch, man. Sweetie ain't so sweet. Many, many years ago, we had these pop-ups where we would jump up at the beginning of the show, and I had put a clear uh, film of cellophane across the top. As I was coming up, I saw it. When the pop-up takes off, the cellophane just goes And I look over at Kevin, and Kevin's going like it wasn't effective, Brian. It was not effective. Who of us knows the most about DNA? Um, probably would be Nick. Nicholas Gene Carter. I'm gonna have to give that to Nick. Uh, actually, I did the whole testing myself. I sent out to my heritage and uh, spit in the little thing and send it out. Obsessed with finding out his DNA. Detailed chart of uh, you know, where, where my family had come from, all the lines and everything. It's just, it's always fascinated me. Nick is really into just a lot of weird stuff. My least favorite Backstreet Boys song. If you want it to be good girl, get yourself a bad boy. If you want it to be good girl, get yourself a bad boy. Probably if you want it to be good girl, get yourself a bad boy. That was horrible. Song should never have been recorded. It is the biggest piece of crap. You know why the fans love that song? Because Nick is singing the whole dang on thing. I don't really have a song that I don't like. Sound like... If you really wanna get, get, get this ever. Despite all the above, I really do love the guys in the group. We have literally been through, and I'm not exaggerating, when I say everything together. They are every bit a part of me, all four of them. They're my brothers from another mother. So my love for them is uh, everlasting, unfortunately. Come out and check out your boys on the DNA tour. Don't forget to grab your tickets at backstreetboys.com or LiveNation.com. We are gonna miss you if you're not there. What are the chances the wind in the place? Like two in a million, like once in a life that I could have found you, put my arms around you. Like two in a million, like once in a life. What are the chances? Is it fair? Who am I? Who's to say? Don't know exactly what it means.